Yes, what is it? If you're going to come in, then come in. I haven't got all day. You're here early. Leave us. Close the door. Can I offer you a drink? Good. I didn't really want to share anyway. What do you want? Hmm, I see. I told you the chem would be delayed. I told you I would let you know when I was ready to distribute it. So I will ask again, why are you here? Unless you somehow think that you can try to intimidate me or undermine my authority. Is that it? Good, that's what I thought. But should you need a reminder, I would be more than happy to provide it. I get that they're being antsy, but they will just have to wait. I will not roll out a chem unless I can guarantee. With accuracy, its results and desired effects. I understand completely that this was a personal commission from life's CFO, but they will just have to wait. We aren't even within the soft deadline, so if you gave them the impression that they would have it sooner, then that is entirely your own error, and you can correct it. I don't operate on your timetable. Frankly, I operate on my chemists. The only reason you ever get your releases early is because we have the best chemist in this city. Hell, the best chemist on this side of the wall. Have I ever given you any reason to doubt that? Have I ever given you a product that didn't live up or exceed its expectations? No. So why would this be any different? Yes, usually it is complete well before the deadlines rear their head. But it's not a necessity. Sometimes it takes longer. Everything is on track, I assure you. But if my chemist says they need more time, they get more time. I have no reason to doubt their ability. And neither do you. Speak with them. Oh, I think not. You will not speak to my chemist. You will not approach my chemist. You will not attempt to contact my chemist in any way. And if I find so much as an inkling suggesting otherwise, you're going to be without more than a job. And let's, for a moment, remember what your job is. I think somewhere along the road it's gotten rather blurry for you. Your job is to take all my shiny little chems and distribute them to the high society. That is it. I know perhaps you might have got some wires crossed since I took you off the corner and sent you to peddle in the penthouses. But that's what you are. You are not their equal. You are not my equal. You attend their lavish parties only to distribute the highest quality highs that you don't even make. And I've been very generous to you in the process. As long as my distribution numbers for high society is up, you're free to enjoy the ride. Indulge in their grotesquely abundant displays of wealth and extravagant shows of opulence. Eat their food, dance to their music, smoke their vintage cigars, and screw their whores. I don't care. As long as the numbers meet their criteria. But I am starting to wonder if perhaps I was too lenient 
in allowing you to indulge in these things. And make no mistake, they are not the ones giving it to you. I am giving it to you. You did not earn them, and I will take it away if you get any ideas about being larger than what you are. And I am only going to tell you this once, and you're lucky to get that. I am not your babysitter, and I am most certainly not your mother. So if I ever have to take time out of my day to scold you like an incompetent child again, well, do we really need to get into the graphic details? I'm sure you remember that night very clearly. Don't make the same mistake your predecessor did, or you'll find yourself in no better a position. Do I make myself clear? Good. Now, with that out of the way, and we'll certainly not need to bring it up again, I'm sure, let's talk numbers. You do have your monthly report with you, don't you? Good. Hand it over. Hmm. They're really buying up the Series 4. Why? That was six iterations ago, what's made them so nostalgic? Hmm, I see. Yes, it coincides with the grid manager's previous records. Life has been really interested in impressing them lately. Probably why they're pushing for a custom order. It's certainly not cheap. Not that they couldn't afford it. But for the amount they want, it's definitely an investment. And not so much personal indulgence. I want you to monitor the CFO. Who is he trying to impress? Beakers will have the cams in approximately ten days. When you hand it over, I want you to explicitly track its usage. Who is using it? Who's the CFO sharing it with? He's been spending a lot of time with the grid managers of a couple of the inner sectors and I want to know why. Don't pry, that's not your business. That's not why you are there. But observe. I'm going to put in an order for some modifications to your implants. I want you to take care of that before you leave the premises, understood? Good. You know the drill. Typical maintenance and updates, making sure they're still working properly and nothing has been compromised. When was your last hard reset? Excellent, so I can assume you've already made the info dump, and the pertinent information will be arriving onto my desk in the next few days. Okay. No, I don't need that. I would prefer to go over the files myself, and I will assign you any further questions I might have. For now, I want you to keep an eye on as many of life's upper echelon as you can. Don't make it overtly obvious, and don't speak to them unless spoken to. Just collect your data at a distance, and proceed normally. I do want to shorten the time between your wipes. I want an upload every 24 hours, and an immediate wipe and reset after that, got it? I will be putting note of that to be updated, while you go configure your implants after you leave here. Do you have anything you think might be important to address here and now? Very well. You're dismissed. Don't disappoint me.